I'm very sorry to have to announce Stuart Little died. We only had him two hours and he died. We tried our best to look after him. Never mind. He died very comfortably. Mm -hmm. On a very nice flannel. <laughs> Never mind, poor lad. Uh, right, we've just been on a rally with the Motor Caravanners Club for four days. Yep. £54 for four days with electric. Service pitch. A zone water <laughs> yep. and a rubbish bin next to us. Absolutely fantastic. Yep. And now we're off for four days to... The Malvern. Malvern. The Malvern show. Malvern show. Yeah. So we're meeting up with Robin Lynn. Kevin Kate. Kevin Kate. And I think another couple's meeting us in a lay-by. And then we're all going together. Yep. So mm -hmm. we can all be pitched near each other. I think that's the idea. But we need to go shopping first. Yes. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's crack on and do another show. We have got it down the garage. Come on, are we up, love? Right, we're having a race. Because we've got the same setup, there's two of them, there's only one of me, and I'll still beat them. And they've started before you. And they started before me. <laughs> no? Oh, come on. <laughs> I've done most of the work. Come on, Rob Scott, ears up. Come on, babe. Come on, Liv. <laughs> So as you can see we've fully put our awning up now, chairs up, table up, carpet down, ground sheet, all done, pegged down nicely. What? Oh sorry, are you still working on yours? Oh no, we went, we went no, 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 just we for a three course tea. meal. Yeah, yeah. They're lying. They're still working on theirs. So, come on people, stick up for me. No, it's your pet, it's your grown sheep. Who won? Robin Lynn on tour, or the travel trolls, who did it the fastest? It's so not about it's who blows Lynn. it up the it's first, is up. it? You've got to get it pegged down oh. and sorted out. We won, say it in the comments, please. Robin Lynn or Dan and Mazzy? And who's there to Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. On the troll's door. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you very much. <laughs> well done. Ten minutes later. Are you not up yet? I'm over tonight. <laughs> so we're settled in a little bit now. We've got the lovely Kate with us. From, what's your channel called again, sorry Kate? Kate and Kev on tour, is it? No, no. Out and About. Out and About. With Ke Kevin Kate. With Kevin Kate. Yeah. So get over and check them out. They're the lovely ones that made us our dollies. And check what, out what Kate's done for us today. Right. And no, she didn't buy it, you made it all, didn't you? I made it all, yeah. Oh, it's chocolate strawberries on its way, look, dance back. Can you not oh, eat them, Oh, gosh, it? look! Yeah. Strawberries yeah. with ch dipped chocolate. Mazzucca. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over and see what uh, Rob's doing. Lynn to the rescue, look, here she comes. Yeah, some this was actually a lovely gift that some Rob and Lynn got. You've got to tie that last on week. the aeroplot. Um, I don't know, I don't know how they did it. Do you want some gorilla tape? Unbelievable. <laughs> so, this is our little setup. That's us, that's Rob and Lynn, and that's Kevin Kate beside us and this is like the whole show well actually this place is big um, there's loads of fields apparently the show itself is over this direction Kev Kate <laughs> grandson called Hunter Hunter oh what a lovely name I think name. he's nine is he yes. nine he is nine yes. Yes. box of goodies from Hunter oh thank you Hunter thank you Hunter <laughs> oh sweets mother sweets yes. I can see sweets Oh, oh, smell it, smell it. 
Oh yeah, that's a candy shop, isn't it? I can it? smell liquor. Candy oh yeah. Smell. Right, that's my oh, kind yeah, of thing. Oh yeah, that's mine. No, that's... <laughs> well, I'll have rainbow. <laughs> Mike and Ike original fruits. We've tried them before, oh, haven't I we? Think we have. sure Not tried rumps. I'm sure you had them in that box. They were lovely. Yeah. Not tried rumps. Thank yeah, you very brilliant. much. <laughs> oh, the candy shop. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Chapel St. Leonard's. I used to go on holiday there. Did you? Is that where are you from? No, not no? where we're from, no. no we, we, there's a little campsite that we like, and it, just a little CL site that we like to go to. <gasps> they could be ropes. Are they ropes? I it smells know. like ropes. And I've just... I can't get into it. Oh, yes! Sorry, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, oh that was the best! <laughs> <laughs> look at those! That's a thumbnail if you've ever seen one. Oh, you look really <laughs> sweet, darling. <laughs> oh, we've been spoiled! <laughs> are they chocolate cups? It's penny sweets, but penny these sweets. are like beer cola bottles, man. Really? Wow! <gasps> Let's take a look inside. They taste like John Smith's. <laughs> That's probably just because you've had a drink of chocolate. Thank you very much, Thank Hunter. You, Hunter. Love you to bits. Love you too. Thank you. He also <laughs> sent you one of these, Dan. Oh, oh. Thank you, Hunter. <laughs> I'll put that in my cool box and have it after this one. So every time we come to a show, we get a free pack. Yeah, what do we get? Uh, the stuff you throw away. On the back of this one, this is where we are, the famous Malvern country and Western Malvern. Motorhome and Malvern. camp Malvern. Show. It's Malvern. It says Malvern, Malvern on the tin. Malvern. 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 We don't need it. No. We don't need that. No. Or that. No. But what else did we got? We got some wet ones. Ooh. 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 The booby prize. We got some <laughs> Zoflora concentrated disinfectant oh, for all you COVID-filled people. Ooh. <laughs> We got some hand hygiene gel just in case that didn't work. <laughs> we got some cream, Sensodyne, rapid relief, a long lasting protection. Toothpaste, not cream. It's not cream. It it's looks toothpaste. like women cream. But <laughs> <laughs> we got another one of them. Still got three of them in there. They've gone a bit <laughs> soft, but I did eat one once and they were very nice. <laughs> Isle of White, no. And last but not least, Cold Infusions Tetley Tea Bags. Woo! <laughs> Yorkshire Tea. Just a quick update. Rob and Lynn have finally got the gazebo. This is Rob and Lynn's van. As you can see, no one around it. Uh, this is ours. Let's just go through here. Uh, we've, got, we've got a few people who have visited our van. As, as I said, no one anywhere near there. They're all around our van. Um, you know, we're not bragging. It's not about bragging rights or anything. Just making things. Shut up, Daniel. All right then. Good morning and welcome to the Malvern Country and Western Shore. Motorhome and. Malvern, Malvern. Good morning. Country and Western, mm. motorhome and camper van, sure. We are here today with uh, Rob and Lynn on tour. And out and about with Kev and, and Kev. Kate. <laughs> Do check out their channel. They've got 150 subscribers, a new channel. Go um, support them. I will put a link in the description if I remember. Uh, yeah. But we want to try and help them out. They've been so kind to us, made loads of sandwiches and things for everyone yesterday. Really looked after us. Um, we are parked up yonder. And last night I was really, really mad because all I could hear all night was the generator from the toilets here. It was keeping me awake. I was really mad. Um, but anyway, let's get into the show, have some fun. Are we up for this? Not sure. Not sure, to be honest. Nice to see the Motor Caravanners Club sign. I'm actually wearing their uh, rucksack at the moment. Can you show them the rucksack, yes, Mazzy? Yes, because I actually stuck a sticker on there She's today. pimped as rucksack. 
There you go, look. Stick this one on. And where's the stickers? And I put them. We've got a stash there to hand out today. Stash of stickers. Not too yeah. many. Not no. too many. First we don't 30 get people asked are going to get. Many, do we? No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the show. <laughs> Stall number one and Maz is looking at courts. I haven't got a decent car. <laughs> You've got about 15 decent courts. <laughs> this is another channel we wanted to shout out as well. Six o'clock? These have been very good to us. from Alvin Hills. You might remember us this morning, we were saying uh, this family should start a YouTube channel. They have done. Calling, calls. Let's have a look inside. Rolling Rooks. Subscribe to this family. They are lovely. Absolutely lovely. They were all doing pictures from Mazzy last night. One stall, three minutes, £15 down already. I needed a proper. Because I left my jackets at your mum's. It's alright. I like it. 15 quid. It's alright, but there was a reel next to it where there were £6. You like this one. Right, let's let's go and do the show, shall we? That's it now. No more spending. Okay, second stall in. Yeah, this money's dwindling, Mazzy. Yeah, what have you brought? Two more cables. Yeah, of the extreme cord guy. We got some of these before. Brilliant. But my phone broke, so I've had to go to my old phone, which is a different end. It's the old Android end, so now I need to. Old ends. Yeah. Right, second stall in. 30 quid down, two Come stalls. On, I want to go home. Get seat covers. <laughs> I was just about to say, we've been here for a good 15 minutes and not a single person has recognised yeah, us. It's been lovely. fantastic. <laughs> and then we, someone just uh, <laughs> recognised us just as I was about to start filming it. And she had two sets of twins. They had That's about really six kids. Amazing. Six kids. <laughs> two sets of twins though. <laughs> oh yeah, I brought something else. <laughs> More money. Three pound doormat. <laughs> Three pound for a bit of cloth to put on the floor to wipe your feet on. Try and hide up the mess you made. And another purchase. More money. <laughs> we're back at the toilet guy again. <laughs> you know why we're spending money? Because you insist on keep going to the toilet. Oh, blame me. Who was on there twice this morning? So which one was our favourite again? It's this one, wasn't it? Yes. Fugere. Fugere. I don't know. Are we doing Fugere. Good, good. We're back. How do, you, how do you say that word? Fugere. And what is Fougier? Fougier is in all like your shampoos, your shower gels, your, your talcs. If you leave them out in the frost, they crack. If you leave them out in the sunlight, they become brittle. Uh, the reason why you don't see our product in garden centres, lifetime warranties. They don't really interest garden centres. They make too much money at selling guns. Anything from a light spray for your garden to a heavy jet, it's actually on the hose. Now, regarding motorhomes, safety use. You've got to be careful sometimes with pressure washers with seals and body works concerned. So a nice delicate spray for your floor deck. Comes a heavy jet. I use this one my monoblock and surface ducts off a pass and dry roof. If you wash the car, you might be up at ladder down the roof for the you know the motor home, never an easy job. Get the uh -huh. job done. All the way to the left will open it up. Oh, oh, whoops. All the way to the right actually cut that back down again. Quick one about the adapter, these are thread adapters. And they seal your tap pressure in, you see. Water tight shut. So guys, what you do away with is our old friend the push adapter. Always a pain in the neck. How often have you travelled north through the hose? Only to find the dew at the gap there, the water goes south. It's very irritating. There's a way of avoiding that, still using your own lock. Now, we give you a permanent lock, but I'm also going to give you a quick release adapter. You might recognise these from the garden centres, four or five quid, watertight. And what that means is you can move quickly from one garden hose to the next. So take it with you from the back garden hose to the kit to caravan or the motorhome, wherever you want to go. But here's the real reason why we sell so many. They're brass and aluminium with a recycled car tyre wrapped around them. When car tyres hit the ground, folks, just bounce. You all know what happens when these hit the ground. Yep, garden centres happen when these hit the ground. Who's got a box of these in the shed of the garage? <laughs> Nobody throws them out, it's weird. My mother used to call it the plastic gun graveyard. You know what kills them, why you never stood a chance? If sunlight doesn't make plastic brittle, which it does, frost also cracks it. Summer and winter, that's why you end up buying plastic guns. They're lifetime guarantees, guys. Keep that safe in the drawer. If you damage it, we will replace it. I'll shake your hand if you can damage one of these. You have the permanent adapter, the quick release there. Normal way of business online at $29.99. If you'd like one today at the show, we simply take a third off the price, cash or card, the £20 at the show. I can vouch for that. 
But the real reason so I used to be a garden centre manager and I worked at B&Q and they are £20 for the equivalent. That, that's a good buy, is that? Yeah, I will say that hose guy back there, the hose end, I would recommend that. Yeah, yeah, it's um, really good. Try and not spend money now. We're spending a lot of money today. Oh, really? <laughs> and that, for £20, is a really good buy, so if you ever see them around, I'd highly recommend one. We had a conversation this morning, didn't we, about Kadesh? Oh yeah, we were saying you're going to get the Barbie on tonight to rub it in. No, it's not a Barbie, it's a Kadak. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a barbecue. Rob and Lynn were trying to tell us that a kadak is not a barbecue because in all the literature and leaflets and things it doesn't ever say barbecue anywhere. It's a kadak. We were correct. Right. Surely it's a barbecue. <laughs> yeah, watch this. Cheese for your pizza, cheese for your pasta, cheese for your chilli chips. That works on soft things like cheese. It'll also work on really hard things as well. Hang on a sec. Toughest spice in the world. Do you know what that is? No. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Okay. Gentleman earlier thought it was an acorn. <laughs> Don't eat acorns, they're not good for you. Watch this. Look. Thanks a lot. Now you should always use freshly ground nutmeg in your cooking or baking. And if you're wondering why, well the answer is not only in the taste, it's also in the smell. Smell that. That is freshly ground nutmeg. Yeah, lovely. It's actually a mild hallucinogenic. Do you want smell. some more? You look the type. You'll enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs> now, garlic and ginger are the best jobs. Now, we sell tens of thousands of these graters every year. For this one job alone, the garlic. Do you ever use ginger in your cooking? Right, if you've ever tried grating ginger, horseradish, or turmeric, all you get is fibres and strands. Can now, I'm actually going to show you the best way you've ever seen to do ginger. And I'll finish in a moment's time with the garlic. Now I'll give you a tip. When you're doing garlic or ginger, you want to use the plate wet. So a drop of water or a drop of olive oil just to make the surface wet. Now watch this. Fresh ginger. Now within a few seconds, you'll have loads of lovely ginger paste. Now you may notice you get hardly any fibres or strands when you do your ginger this way. I'll show you what you do get a lot of though. And you don't get this in the sachets or the packets when you buy it pre-done in the supermarket. And that's all that lovely ginger juice. You can put that straight into a cup of tea and you've got ginger tea full of natural antioxidants, really good for you. And if you're wondering how you get the fresh ginger off the grater, you take a little brush and you gather all the ginger to the side. That way you waste nothing. And the last job's the best job. It's got to be the garlic. Now the good news, you can actually do the garlic with a peel still on. Is that good? Brilliant. Or do you like peeling garlic? Yeah. No. What's this? Take a nice sharp knife and you trim the very tip of the garlic off. You just need a flat surface to work on. Now watch closely. When I do it at home, I use a drop of olive oil. It comes out like garlic butter. With a little brush, you can spread it straight onto a piece of chicken or fish. Now watch this. You don't need to press hard. Just quickly and lightly, in any direction you want. You will go right down to the root part at the very end. There's no waste when you use it. And that's the bit that you don't want to eat. Look, pop that in the top of a bottle of olive oil and that will infuse your olive oil with garlic flavour. Impressive. Very good. Do you know who'd love that? And this your will mom. impress you. <laughs> on TV or on our website, they're 14 99 plus post and packing. We don't charge that price at the show today. Handmade and hand painted in southern Spain. Triple glaze, they're dishwasher safe, they'll never go blunt. And a genuine discount, you save five pounds, just 9 99 and we don't stop there. During the demonstration, we use those little brushes on our website, 2 99 For your penny change, thanks for watching, I'll give you one of those as well. You get the whole lot today for just £10. Christmas. If you buy, sorry to use the C word in August, if you buy four, you get the fifth one free. Pick a colour, any colour, take your time, but hurry up. Fantastic! The Spanish greater plate. I've not seen them at any of the shows before. Different. And if you miss I like it, it. We're gonna do it. Quick five minutes out. <laughs> I'm struggling today. Yeah. So well, this is one of the biggest shows we've actually been to this year, isn't it? As far as stalls, stalls. is concerned, yeah. I think it's because there aren't many people with motorhomes and camper vans to sell. So they're booked in a lot more 
Stars. That is an extraordinary as somebody who knows us. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I'm struggling this morning, so I think we're yeah. going to go back. We're just going to make our way back, film some more, yeah, and get something to eat, and maybe come back this afternoon. So that's the beauty about camping here. You can just keep coming back yeah. over three days. So. And we're not too far from it, really, are no, we? No, it's so. not far. And it's been wonderful. We've met a lot of viewers today, so thank you for popping in and saying hello to us. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, should we make a move? Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> Bye. Can I have a ferret or a mouse? Mazzy, <laughs> you had a mouse yesterday and you killed it. Oh, please. No. There literally is anything and anything you could want at this show today. Literally everything, isn't there, honey? I'm still looking for the doner kebab stall. <laughs> I'm still looking for a bottle of water, but honestly, you can buy everything here. Oh, I see they have the pop-ups here, darling. I wonder if they've actually got some in stock for sale. I'm just trying to find a price on this one. This one's huge. I'm sure this is bigger than the one we had a demonstration, demonstration on. It's 300 quid. That's yeah. so good. I'd actually recommend one of them, wouldn't you? you? Might, if anyone saw us live, yeah. this was put up in 30, about 34 30 seconds. seconds. or something, yeah. Incredible. <laughs> Very lightweight as well, aren't mm. they? Yeah. I always wondered what this is. Glue. Rubber. So you and some guy with pairs, special glue. Waders for a fisherman. Yeah. Gum boots for a farmer. Uh, amazing stuff. You can use it in fact. It does everything from shoe soles to great granddad's dentures. It does all the denture repairs. <laughs> it's non-toxic, yes. Uh, spectacles and sunglasses, things like that. Uh, all go. boots this is and shoes. Item. And when it comes to glass, watch it explode. It doesn't go pop or bang. There's no smoke, no flames. Look, let's hook out a couple of squares of glass over the top. One droplet, it's all British made. It makes a change from Hong Kong or Taiwan. Over the top and whoop, off he goes. Now lots of glues, they fog up with glass. They go all misty and it dries lovely and clear. No fogging, ghosting or clouding. It's very good for doing marine work. It's not affected by sea water. You might remember we were looking at these. Yeah, we filmed him, didn't we? And at the time, he didn't have any like proper kits made up. He was just like starting up. He's got loads of kits now. Oh, well done, him. Yeah, that's really good. We were contemplating and buying one of these. We ended up getting the washer-matic, didn't we? Yes. Which we never even used, we just threw it away last no, week. No, I used the brush. Used the brush. But we never did a review, like I said. No. We were. i just got to show you this brownie stuff. Everywhere we go, they're here. They are gorgeous. Really lovely homemade. They are homemade, aren't they? Lovely, look at those. I'm going to have some now. Oh, lucky you! So this is a good stall. This is the Motor Caravanners Club. Did they disappear? I'll tell you what's so good about this stall. The notice board in the background is fantastic. You need to have a good look at these notice boards. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Travel Trolls TV? So we just stopped off at the Electric Bike Man stall. I'm sure Rob and Lynn was checking this stall out last week. At Norfolk Show, was it at the Norfolk Show? Yes, we were there last time, yeah. yeah. That was Ian. Checking out these newer ones. This is the new My Rider 1. And this is what we're hoping to get in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, you want white, don't you? I'd love a white one. But I'm yeah. thinking I might go orange. Really? Mm. Yeah. And I'll tell you why, because you'd be more visible on the road. Oh, yeah. I was going to yeah. get the grey. Uh, you can get these special ones as well, you can get camouflage and stuff, but you pay quite a bit more for them. Yeah, about I'd another like the camouflage, pounds. that would be smart. So anyway, this is the Electric Bike Man, and they sell all types of electric bikes, so go over and check them out. Oh, look at these little garden things, babe. They're nice, aren't they? I do like that one, yeah. Oh, they're really nice. And this one, look, reduced to 50 quid. Oh, that's lovely. Really, really nice. I do like these. This 
is one. Not sure what's going on over here. It's like a Dan called it a reenactment village. Yeah, country in Western, it's like 1800s America. Oh, wow. This is the only funny work reproduction one. Lots of cowboys. Dinosaur excavation wanted. And then finally, for your intent, we have Butch Cassidy in the corner. Absolutely fantastic. Why is he pointing at me and saying he's got Butch Cassidy in the corner? Do I look like Butch Cassidy? Excellent, excellent. So, an introduction. You have here a early settlement right here in the Wyoming Territory. It's a territory, not a state, because it hasn't gone into the Union yet. And this town here, we have a very unscrupulous, in fact, a very horrible man who runs it. He, this gentleman right here, give him a boo in the ball. So we've left the show, and now they're only starting now. Hear, hear the guns? <laughs> Poor old doggies aren't liking it though, are they? No. <laughs> oh, bless. So we've missed that. But anyway, we're going to go back to the van now. Get some and food. Some food. We'll be returning tomorrow. We'll pick this up again tomorrow, yeah? Or tonight. On the show. Yeah, or tonight, yeah. Might even come back. Yeah.